set my uh, my linkage settings we can navigate to our uh, our rear linkage on here and then I have my uh, my various settings so I've got my maximum uh, lifting height which again I can uh, I can set on the on the screen I can uh, set my uh, maximum lifting speed my lowering speed and then also whether I'm in uh, draft or uh, position control so as soon as I come down on the percentage I'm into uh, into draft control and if I go all the way to the top then is I, uh, I I'm into uh, I'm into uh, position control down on the on the armrest then is I got uh, two uh, two buttons here I can uh, unlock the uh, the linkage and then for here I have my uh, my depth wheel for the uh, for the linkage if I roll it uh, uh, back towards me then is I'm uh, I'm raising the linkage and if I roll it forwards I'm going uh, going deeper with the linkage and then this uh, control module here then is doing the uh, lifting and lowering so I can click it all the way back and that will lift my linkage all the way uh, all the way up or if I click it all the way uh, forwards it will uh, it will set my uh, my linkage to be at the uh, at the height of my uh, of wherever I've set my uh, my position wheel and we see here then is the uh, the orange triangle then represents where my uh, where my working depth is going to uh, going to be we have the same control then for the uh, for the front linkage so in this option of this tractor here is I got comfort front linkage with position control so I have my depth wheel on this side and again my uh, my linear control then for the uh, for the linkage but the good thing is I've got proportional control over my uh, over my rear linkage so for hooking up onto implements it is uh, it's nice and uh, nice and simple What I can do with my linkage is I can set a uh, a particular position that I want to uh, that I want to work to. So in this situation, there I've put uh, put a memorised position up at uh, up at number uh, up at number three. And what I can do is I could set my uh, my working depth to uh, to match up with uh, with that working position. And if I uh, lift my linkage up. It's gone all the way to the uh, to the top, and then obviously when I click down, it will uh, it will settle on the, on this position here that we've got for for set as our, our memory. Now, if I want to work deeper, I can come onto my depth wheel and I can scroll forwards. But then to uh, to get it to uh, to jump back up to that memorized position is I can press down, press down again, and it will line then my uh, two, uh, two uh, arrows to, uh, together. Firstly then if I go uh, decided to, I wanted to work shallower, I've uh, raised my implement on the depth wheel. If I just do a single click down, it will line up, go back to my memorized position and, uh, and set the working depth. Now there is a button on the uh, side of the armrest which does that same function. So if I go deeper, Again, is I can uh, press on this side button, do the double press there, and it will uh, raise the linkage back to my preferred working depth. Or if I go uh, go shallower with the implement, if I just do the single press there, it lines it back up with uh, with our control. We can switch our auto function, so we can put our linkage onto our main go end button. So if I don't want to uh, be reaching across to here, I can activate the uh, the auto button, and that will put my uh, my linkage control then onto my go end button. So go will be dropping the linkage down. If I hit on the end button, then it's lifting my uh, lifting my linkage back uh, back up. I can also activate the auto PTO, so I've got the option down the uh, down the bottom here, and I tap on that one. I can choose then my uh, my PTO speed, activate it to uh, to set it gold, and again is uh, when I uh, when I drop my linkage, when I hit the go button, my linkage will come down and my PTO will uh, will kick in. 
So when I drop my uh, drop my linkage down, as we can see, then the uh, the PTO has uh, has activated on the uh, tractor. And if I hit the uh, hit the end button, it's lifting my linkage and uh, and stops the uh, stops the PTO. Now I can alter as to when the uh, PTO starts and stops. Is I can come into my settings. I can come across to uh, to this option here. And then is I have these two sliders, one then to set when my PTO will uh, be switched on, and then the other one will show where the uh, where the PTO will be switched off. And again, I can uh, I can alter these uh, these sliders up and uh, up and down to uh, to suit. Other settings we can look at for the rear linkage is on this tractor I have my uh, double acting rear linkage so I can activate it uh, by pressing that button and again I can set my uh, set my pressure my downwards pressure on the on the tractor or on the link arm should I say but we only want to run this when we want to be holding an implement in the ground for the rest of the time then is we want to have this function uh, switched off I can look at uh, setting my wheel slip control on this, I can set my wheel slip percentage on the on the screen, and I can also alter the uh, the sensitivity. I can activate the uh, the damping on the uh, on the rear linkage, so I can set then as to what speed. So here then at uh, 20k, then all of a sudden then I'll have uh, uh, damping being controlled on the on the rear linkage. We've already looked at then our trigger points. For our uh, for our PTO when we're using the auto uh, button engage, and then on the last button is I can uh, activate and set a lower uh, limit where the linkage won't drop any further, and I can bring in two of these worked memory positions that I can jump uh, between. So I can uh, click on my uh, my side button twice, and it will. Uh, Jump between the uh, between the two options, and then I can also set a uh, a lower limit, uh, say 40% in this example, where my link arms won't drop any lower than that figure.